Howdy there folks, I'm Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and it's my hope that this video absolutely scares the crap out of you, because it's a serious issue I feel like I need to address. So, let's talk about security on public Wi-Fi networks. We all use them, they're great. You go to McDonald's, you go to Starbucks, you go to your library, you go to what have you. There's so many different open networks, and when you use them, you probably don't think much of them. You think that your information is secure. So long as you go to HTTPS, you know, Facebook.com or Twitter.com or WellsFargo.com, your information is secure, right? Not necessarily. I'm going to show you something that is so incredibly scary, you're going to crap your pants. Now, this is a free application called Facenif on the Android um, platform. Anyone running Android can get this app. It's absolutely free. I don't need to be a hacker. I don't need to be a developer. Anyone can use this. Watch this. So I'm running this little application, right? I'm on the same Wi-Fi network on my iPhone and on my Android tablet. Now, you may not think that this is a big deal. I'm home on a WPA2 PSK network. So this may not be a fear to you if you're at home, and you shouldn't be so long as you have a secure network. But if you're in a public place, watch this. I am on YouTube.com. We're both on the same Wi-Fi network. Uh, it could be a local library or like here in my home. I have my email. That's Nazi iPhone guy, and I'm logged into YouTube. Now, this browser's clash, cache has just been cleared. I've never been on YouTube.com on this device except for when I loaded this first page up. Never logged into my account before. This is what we have here. Okay, watch this. I open this FaceNap application. I'm anyone, a hacker. It's just a regular Joe that's out to be malicious. I'm going to type my password in here in the uh, iPhones field. And this isn't just a flaw or a bug with uh, an iPhone. This is any platform, any platform that runs Wi-Fi. Watch this. And I want you to be aware that this is a secure network. It's HTTPS. I'm totally 100% quote-unquote secure. Watch. When I press sign in, boom, game over. It's done. Watch this. Game over, right there. Look, I press that button and I am logged in to that snazzy iPhone guy on my touchpad. Never been logged in before. Don't know the password, never entered it. It scraped it from the network. Absolutely scary. This extension, this application, FaceNiff, <laughs> Face NIF uses a packet sniffer, okay? It intercepts unencrypted cookies, which are sent by so many different websites. Twitter, Facebook, Gmail, tons of other ones. Most banks aren't like this, but there are a few. And these cookies are transmitted over the networks, which allows incredibly smart applications or very, very smart hackers to exploit these session hijackings. So this is crazy because I have now my login for that snazzy iPhone guy. I could go to my public library, run this application, and I bet you in 10 minutes, I'd get 30 people's logins. Scary as balls. It doesn't matter if they leave the library. It doesn't matter if they log in two, or log off two seconds after they log in. I have their data forever. Scary, scary stuff. Now, a lot of people think, hey, it's HTTPS secure. It doesn't matter. Nope. There's an option on here that scrapes that. Doesn't matter if you log in via a secure network. As long as these two devices are on the same network, you're screwed. Okay, now, there is some light. There is some options out there to help you when this kind of thing is happening. And I'd like to share it with you. It's a very cool iPhone application, uh, which has just been on the market for a couple days now. And it's, uh, it's called... Cloak. Now, Cloak, the app itself is free. There is a service that is free as well, or you can buy a paid version depending on how much you use it. The free status is which I have now, or what, what I have now. It allows you to go for two hours of VPN-based browsing for 30 days, and that does that every 30 days. They also have an $8 and a $16 per month package, which allows you to do a tremendous amount of bandwidth all on this secured network. Uh, for an unlimited amount of time. But for right now, I have two hours per month, which works just great for me. Check this out. You install this app, you press this little button, and it installs a very tiny little profile in your settings. Now, I'm not even sure how this company was able to do this. I would have for sure thought Apple would have banned this. But check this out. When you install this, it installs this little profile down here, and uh, it's called Cloak, okay? Now, there is an expiry. Um, however, it allows me to have a new little toggle on my main screen. See this? VPN right here. Brand new. This installs and you toggle this. 
Once you toggle this VPN, you are no longer connected directly to that network. It's a virtual private network and it's secure. See that little bar up there? VPN. Now watch this. I can go into uh, my Facebook. I'm not going to do it. I'm gonna, I can go into um, my YouTube once again. I'm going to log out once more. Oops. I'm going to log out and I'm going to uh, get this app back in play. Okay, so I've got the wrong rotation here. Oh, and I opened my Xbox. Okay, so here we go. I have uh, my account here. I'm going to sign out very quickly, and I am going to sign in. I am on VPN, same network, but I'm on VPN, okay? So I am quote-unquote secure, right? Well, let's see if this application actually does its job. I'm going to press sign in. I'm going to type my username which is very long, should have chosen something shorter than that snazzy iPhone guy, as well as my password, which is also very long. And I am going to press sign in. Okay. Check this out. I'm signing in, but this application doesn't know. Never got my login because it's secured. It's through a VPN network. It'll never get it. I am absolutely secure if I use this service, which is Cloak. Now, I don't have a paid version because I'm not on free Wi-Fi very often, but there is an iPad app, there is an iPhone app, there is a Macintosh app. All you have to do is download this app, it's absolutely free, and press iPhone Safely Cloaked, and you will never have your data stolen. However, I please warn you and caution you, if you don't want to try this app out, that's fine, but whenever you're on public Wi-Fi, be aware that anything can happen, even if you're using secured data, even if you're doing this, that, and the other, because even though you think you might be secured, you're not. It's a scary, scary world. There's a lot of corrupt people. And this kind of stuff, this face snip, I don't need to be an intelligent hacker to get this to work. It was a free app I found on Google. I downloaded it in 20 seconds, and I can steal hundreds of people's of information. Scary, scary stuff. Be smart when you're on public Wi-Fi, or don't have to worry about any of it by installing Cloak for iPhone. I absolutely love it. It's been 100% secure for me. There are a couple of other VPN applications in the App Store, but they use like their own separate browser. This is the first app that's in the App Store that I believe has its own profile, which is great. Sure, there is a paid model if you use a ton, but for me, the two hours a month is great. I highly recommend you check this out. And if you're interested in you know, this kind of hacking stuff, how easy it is to acquire information. There's a Firefox plugin called FireSheep and there's that Android app called FaceSniff. Please don't use it for any illegal things. Don't uh, capture other people's data. But when you're on your home network, try it and see how easy it is to capture anyone's data. It's mind-blowingly scary. And I hope that this video kind of provided insight to you. Please be secure with your data. You may not think someone finding your Twitter profile is that big of a deal, but if it's your bank, that's a whole different story. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment. The internet's a scary place. Be, be, uh, be aware of your surroundings and be aware of the dangers that are out there. And uh, I leave you with that. Stay snazzy. See ya. Have a good weekend.